Owing to the myriad of emerging issues, such as COVID-19 pandemic, insecurity across school environments, unemployment and underemployment, development of IT skills, and how to adopt a new normal, which are all critical to worker survival, the Senior Staff Union in Colleges of Education Nigeria, SUKO, during their third National Quadrennial Delegate Conference, reveals that their subsector is the most neglected by government, both federal and state, in terms of funding. We are not unmindful of the myriad of challenges facing the education sector in general, uh, colleges of education. We are not unmindful and colleges of education, as well as of our members in particular. There is no doubt, indeed, that our subsector is the most neglected by government, federal and states, in terms of funding compared to universities and polytechnics. This is purely because our products, the students, are children of the masses and the downtrodden, who are voiceless, unlike those of the high and caliber in the society. We must therefore be the voice of our students and their parents if they must succeed. Sukon also lamented on the lack of political will, non-implementation of 65 years retirement age, non-payment of backlog of salaries, and many more from the government. Duly entered into between unions and governments at both state and federal levels. Example, the 2010 FGN Sukon Agreement and many other agreements that government has reneged in their agreement. Four, non-implementation of 65 years retirement age for non-teaching staff in state-owned colleges of education, non-payment of backlog of salaries and promotion areas of state-owned colleges of education. During the conference, Ayubo Waba, President, Nigerian Labour Congress, state the concept of development relating it to the welfare of the people. People don't remember when we contribute to development. When teachers teach, when workers work, they quickly forget. But suddenly they remember us when COVID-19 stroke. They remember there are those that are referred to as frontline health workers. This is how our politicians behave. And I think we must remind them that development is not only about building infrastructure. In fact, development everywhere around the world, when you hear about welfare of the people, it means welfare means also the socioeconomic status of the people and therefore the security of the people. And there are two components to security, the economic security of the people and the physical security, and one leads to the other. That is the concept of development everywhere around the world. Sukon stated that the growth and development of teacher education remains non-negotiable, as they say, it is the bedrock of development in the country. They also called on the government to have a rethink on the kind of attention it pays to the foundation of teachers in colleges of education and universities, adding that if the foundation is faulty, they won't get it right. From Abuja, Mavis Ako, Captain TV News.